so uh, in this video I will be showing you how to uh, set up your PLSQL with uh, instant client so that you can uh, get access to an external server okay so um, so first thing is you need to have the PLSQL setup file and the instant client software so uh, for that uh, you can uh, open your browser go to Google and search for a uh, pl sql and uh, i just need uh, the 12 uh, the version 12 so i will download version 12 right now so from all around automations uh, website you can download the pl sql the trial version so you can see uh, when it's when you open here you have a uh, try it free so you can uh, select which version you need so you need to download plsql developer evaluation then if your pc is 64-bit uh, or 32-bit you can select and you can click download it's a 57 mb file then uh, once you are done with that there's another there's another set of files you need to download again you can go to google and search instant client so instant client oracle so when you click on that uh, you can go to oracle instant client downloads and click uh, based on your pc whether it's 64 bit or 32 bit you can click on either so my one is 64 so i will click on 64 uh, so the files are already download so you can see here we have plsql the setup file and also instant client as a file so first let me install uh, the plsql software so you double click on it and you can give next and you can accept and so if you have the license key you can select on enter license key but if not you will have to install the trial version so it's a 30 days trial so i'll click on install trial version and i'll click next and i will install the complete package and then you can click ok so now if you check the desktop you can, you might be able to see the install software so now the software is installed but still uh, we need to set up the tns names and also give access to oracle environment so uh, you can see if you click on cancel and go to configure and preference you can see the oracle home and oci library are empty so also if you can see uh, if you go to plug uh, help and uh, support info you can see uh, the tns path there so there is no tns file path or there are no tns uh, given to the plsql to connect to the server so what we need to do so first thing you need to extract the instant client uh, file the instant client zip file then click ok and you will get the instant client folder so you can uh, so when you go inside the instant client uh, folder you extracted you can see uh, this folder instant client 19 file so it, it consists of several some system files and uh, some oracle files so uh, you what you need to do is you need to copy this file you need to copy this file and then go to uh, local disk c and paste it right over there then you need to go inside and you need to copy this address so you need to copy this address then click on this pc and properties then you click on advanced system settings so you click on uh, environment variables then uh, you click on under system variables you click new and you need to give the name tns admin and you paste the address that you just copied the place uh, this is the address of the file or instant client file that you just copied and then you simply click ok then again find for uh, there you can see the path so under variables you have path so click on it and click edit then here also you have to add the same part so you can add like percent symbol you paste the address and again you click percent then uh, click on ok ok so that part we are done then open a notepad software 
so let's open notepad well, i will paste the tns information so this tns information means it consists of uh, the host address so here you need to put the host address then the port and also the service name cc so this information will so if you have if you want to connect to multiple uh, multiple servers then in that case you can uh, put it like one after the other in this way so here you can change the host file so when you are logging in this is the name you will be seeing so now i only need to add one server so i will erase the rest and i will only keep this so i need this is the host that i need to connect and this is the port and this is the service name okay so once done i will click on save as then i will go to the location this pc and uh, to the place where i saved my instant client so it's on c then instant client so right here i will save it with the name tns names dot aura so this you should uh, give this name to the file then you can click save so the file will be right there you can now open plsql so under preference uh, you can select oci library here instant client and here that's there so you can click close it and save the changes and you can close it and open it again so based on the tns files you entered so there will be you can see under the database you can see different uh, databases and you can select the database that you entered and then you, the username and the password will be there then the username and the password you can type and click ok so that you can log into the database